Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just Jake here and welcome back to my channel for another GTA Online video. And in today's video, we're going to be building the 1994 Toyota Supra Mark IV from the Fast and the Furious. Now, this is going to be Brian's orange Supra, obviously from the first Fast and the Furious film. And I'm going to be using the Dinka Jester Classic to create this build. It is going to cost you $790,000, which in my opinion is cheap as chips. So you want to go and grab this car if you want to follow me on this build. Meet me in LS Customs and I'll show you how to do the rest. So to start this build guys, we're going to go into the armor and purchase 100% body armor for the brakes. We're going to get the race brakes for the bumper, front bumper. And even though all these bumpers are awesome choices, um, in my personal opinion, I think all these are a little bit too extravagant. I mean, the, the one in the film doesn't have an exposed intercooler and a turbo, for instance. It doesn't have a massive intercooler like this <laughs> at the front. And uh, also, this would be a good choice, but it doesn't have a massive splitter. Same again with this one, but the grill is a little bit too long, in my opinion. Um, so flicking through these, I think this low splitter is probably the best option. So that's what I'm going to go with. For the rear bumper, we don't have any other options, really, um, to choose from other than the stock. Because, you know, the current film doesn't have much in the way of a diffuser, if anything. Uh, and these are far and beyond too much for what we need so stock rear bumper is definitely the one you want to go with so next we've got the chassis option now this is up for debate um obviously it being a fast and the furious vehicle you may want to have a roll cage which you can obviously have with the stock seats uh so that's i think that's the one i'm going to go with um obviously i say it's up for debate because people might want to put the racing seats in uh, but the car in the film does not have red seats. It may have racing seats, but it doesn't have red seats. It has black seats. So I think, you know, one of these options is probably the best. Obviously, it's going to be the, the secondary cage because it's a little bit cheaper. And uh, you get secondary and primary colors are, are ultimately going to be the same color anyway. So you might as well buy the cheapest one. So I'm going to go with a secondary cage. If you choose to have the racing seats, so be it. You know, it's your build, your car, you do what the hell you want. Um, but in my opinion, I think it's not going to look as, if, as, if, as effective because of the red seats and the car in the film doesn't have red seats. So, like I said, my choice is a secondary cage and that's the one I'm going with. For the engine guys, well, I'm going to grab the level 4 engine upgrade. The exhaust, I'm going to get the single chrome exhaust. So then we're going to move on to the headlight covers. Even though these headlights are stock, look fucking sweet as hell. Uh, the car in the film, the headlights are a little bit shorter. You know, they're a little bit smaller. So obviously these half cut eyelids are definitely going to be the ones to go with because they make the, the headlights seem a little bit shorter like the ones from the film. So it makes sense. And uh, it just makes it look fucking mean as hell. So we're get, definitely going to go with the half cut eyelids. Then we're going to move to the fenders. We're going to get the rear spats. Now for the hood, this is a must for this build. You cannot make this build without having this hood. It is essential to this build. And it is the performance hood. I mean, look at that. That is iconic to this uh, to this Supra from the Fast and the Furious. The very first Fast and the Furious film. It is iconic. It, is <laughs> it looks awesome. It just makes the car look so, so good. Uh, but yeah, definitely performance hood is the one you're going to need for hoods. Then we're going to move to the lights. We're going to go headlights and purchase the Xeon headlights. For the neon kit, we're going to get a neon kit layout of front, back and sides. And for the color, we can go with a mint green or we can go with a lime green. The, the you know the color of the livery being so bright i think the lime green is going to look a little bit nicer for the neon color because it'll just roll a little bit nicer together but because of the livery color i'm going to go with the lime green neon color so speaking of liveries we are now going to purchase the livery and it is going to be this one called 10 minute car obviously a play on the name from the from the movie because brian owes dom a 10 second car and uh the 10 second car so happens to be the orange supra so using the livery from the Orange Supra, playing on the name, 10 minute car. Uh, yeah, clever from Rockstar and very ballsy as well. But it's awesome that it's in the game. So we're going to grab the 10 minute car livery. So now we're going to move on to the respray. We're going to go primary color and into classic because if you purchase metallic for this vehicle, it's going to put like a pearlescent shine on the paintwork. But not only the paintwork, it will also put a pearlescent shine on the livery as well. And then it starts to look a little bit weird, you know. So I think classic is the, definitely the best option and we've got a choice of three oranges we've got the sunrise we've got the orange and we've got the bright the bright is a little bit too yellowy it doesn't even really look that nice with the livery to be fair and then we've got the sunrise which is a little bit darker a little bit more ready 
and again that doesn't look all that great with delivery either in my opinion but the one in the middle the actual just plain orange looks fucking sweet so yeah that's the one we're going to go with and we're going to go secondary color classic and also orange so next we're going to skip past the roof because it is only roof scoops we get in there we're going to go straight to the side skirts and we're going to get the primary lip skirt so then we're going to move on to the spoiler we've got plenty of options for spoilers the one in the film is like a, a silvery chromey kind of look uh, we definitely can't get one of them in this game because rockstar have never given us a silver or chrome spoiler to the best of my knowledge anyway um the best ones we can get is going to be the carbon wing ones so you can choose from carbon wing type one type two or type three uh the wide wing is definitely far too big for this build and it should be you know discarded straight away we, we don't need it so it's definitely out of one two or three um three the struts are a little bit too far set away from each other for my liking for this build and type one is just a little bit too short for my liking so i'm in favor of type two i mean i think that looks the best it looks truer to the one from the film um the only difference obviously it being is that this is a carbon version and the one in the film is like a, a a chrome version but yeah i think type 2 is the best one so that's the one i'm going to go with then we're going to move to the suspension i'm going to get the race suspension transmission a race transmission and obviously what i'll grab the turbo tuning now for the wheels guys we're going to go wheel type and into sport and a few other builds that i've seen people say that the chrome that these wheels are chrome in the film and in my opinion i don't think they are i think they look a little bit more alloy than what they do chrome um i mean maybe in some shots or maybe some screen grabs or some pictures maybe they look may look chrome um but watching the film i i i believe that they are just alloy wheels so i'm going to stay stock rims and uh we're looking for a five five spoke and i have looked through these previously uh the infernos were a good contender and there was also another contender in these uh wagon masters i think they were a good contender as well uh, but they were a little bit too deep dish you know a little bit s too far set back for my liking for this build and uh the infernos were good they had the stuns on the the studs on the outer rim which is pretty much what the ones are like in the film but again the the middle of the rim sort of like sunk in a little bit and it just didn't look right it didn't sit well with me so i did come across these Lost speed mark fives and uh, even though then obviously not identical we're not going to get identical rims in gta um to real life wheels but in my opinion these ones looked the best they looked the closest to the ones from the film and uh yeah i i wholeheartedly believe that these are the ones you're going to need for this build so grab the Lodspeed speed mark fives for this build and last but not least ladies and gentlemen you are finish this build with light smoke window tin so here you go ladies and gentlemen there is my variation of the 1994 mark 4 toyota supra from the fast and the furious and it being night time of course i always finish a build on ps4 at night time because i can't control the weather <laughs> and it just ha so happens to be night time every time and this lime green was definitely the best choice to go with this livery that looks fucking awesome um oh man just what rockstar have, have, you know give us to the for this vehicle i was not expecting to be able to make a car this close to the orange super from the fast and the furious you know when rockstar originally released the Dink Je dinker jester classic i was um a bit skeptical and i was rightly i was right to be skeptical because what they give us originally was absolute dog shit luckily enough they didn't fully release it and it was just in the game files and they took it away they listened to the community and they answered our prayers and they've gave, given us the option to be able to create this and that just looks so good it looks so, i know obviously it doesn't look identical to the toyota supra i mean it's got differences but what they, they're giving us a livery which is pretty much the same they give us a car which is pretty much the same you know bar you know different little bits of changes and stuff but it's clearly supposed to be a supra this livery is clearly supposed to be the fast and the furious livery from that film and it's just so cool i mean just driving it around now it feels like i'm playing a fast and furious game it's just so good and this um thing of just a classic is actually really fun to drive as well um, not 100% sure on his top speed or capabilities in the in the sports class as of yet 
but it feels capable. It feels really good. And uh, I'm really happy with the way that this build has turned out, as always, man. Just look at it. Yes. So happy with it. And uh, obviously, there's going to be more super builds coming in the future, in the next coming weeks. Um, hopefully, I'll get a few out in the next um, few days, actually. I'm going to get my head down and try and knock out a few, a few more videos this week. Um, or next week, sorry, because this video will probably be coming out on Sunday. Um, but yeah, next week I'll be trying to get out at least three videos for next week. Um, but yeah, stick around for them if you'd like to see them. Uh, but going back to this vehicle, if you did enjoy this video, please leave it a thumbs up. It was much appreciated. And also leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of this uh, vehicle as well. Whether you've built this vehicle um, already or built any other Supra for that matter from the Fast and Furious franchise already with using the Dinka Jester Classic. Um, but yeah, just be interesting to hear from you guys what, what it is uh, you think of this car. But that's going to be the end of the video. Uh, hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, like I said, please leave a like. And if you haven't already, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more GTA 5 content. And until next time, I'm out. Adios.